So this is um, Nginx that I am doing here under my Debian. Uh, first of all, I make sudoer my user, and then let me also uh, make it bigger for everyone. And then app get install engine x. If you are doing uh, Apache, just make sure that service. Apache 2 is stopped. I don't have it here, but if you have it, then try to stop it. So also, uh, open the browser. So now look, if you type HTTP localhost, this one is the first page of uh, Nginx. Nginx is similar to uh, Apache and is it can be used as a web server. Well, what, what we are doing here, uh, we are using as a reverse proxy. So the configuration of, if I clear my screen, the configuration usually it is located on the etc engine x here. So that file engine x.com. Okay. And also we can have our, uh, was that, uh, uh, we call it as a shortcut in a Windows operating system, but yeah, once you want to create a short link, you can go under CD site available here. So you see that? Um, there isn't any symbolic link here. So I'm going to create symbolic link, nano under site available, for example, my test.local. And I put some uh, commands to do a reverse proxy. So like server, I'm defining the server that I have doing for a reverse proxy. Uh, listen to port 80 and then a server underline name is my test.local which is um, I'm creating here uh, for this step location and then proxy underline path that I'm redirecting to Yahoo Dot com. We are seeing this one in a few seconds. Include uh, etc engine x and proxy underline prompts. That's the parameters that we are using for this one. And then we are closing this one and this one, this third. Okay. Now is the time to create a symbolic link. Um, so if I switch it to a CD site enable, should be here, right? And then ln dash s, ln dash s, then site available, the file that I have, my test.local to here. Look now, if you do ls, you have that file here and is symbolic link between sites available to site enabled. That's the shortcut between these two folders. I mentioned before that if you want something be enabled, you put it under site enabled. And then I do also this one, etc host, uh, which is my 127.0.0.1 and my test.local. So that, that means that if I put in the browser my test.local, I can reach to that server. And then system CTL 
restart engine so now look if you in your browser if you do http my test local you're sending this request to my test local well, my test local is sending that one to yahoo test. so you see that we call that one as a reverse proxy so in terms of user perspective they only see this page they don't know that in the background someone is redirecting that request 